Yo, rest in peace to the GOAT, Kevin Samuels, for real. I already told you guys the effect he had on my life I and shit. like when a guy asks you to like come home with him, he only wants like one thing. So you never had sex on the first date? No. <laughs> Cap. Do what people are still names? go on Cassidy? dates? Actually, no, I'm good. I'm good. You think oh, they, you can do this to me? Oh, Brie, they know him. Amy, Nikki, Chelsea, Paige, Madison, David, Jeff, Josh, Lindsay, Ashley, Brittany, Kenzie, AK, Taylor. Why, Madison, wait, hold on, hold on, Rachel. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why the fuck we listen to the names? We don't care. Do y'all go on dates a lot? So, 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 kind of. I do, yes. Here and there. Do you, like, typically go on dates nowadays or what? No. Not really? No. Honestly, kind of. A little. It's Wait, he interviewed his shorty recently. What the what heck? What's up, baby? Do y'all go on dates often? Yes. I went on three dates this week. Damn! Yeah. Three? Would have gone on five, but I had to go see her and then I had to come here. Can you say you have, like, five guys you're talking to right now? Oh, you remember all that? I do. All right, well, it was, like, five plus or minus three. Remember, I made that little joke. You got five men. Plus or minus like three. Now it's just kind of one. Oh, we got down to one. Turn it down, yeah. Oh, hallelujah, thank God. You gotta look like Lana Rose. Have you ever got that? What was the question? Nothing. I know, I, I, I gotta talk, guys. I gotta talk. I be watching this shit like I'm a viewer sometimes. I fuck with this dude's editors a lot. But yeah. That's kind of like why I kind of chill on a dating show. I'm still like checking the prospects out, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they gotta be into, you know what I'm saying, the goat piece for me to even consider them wifey at the very least. But most of the time when you're like in a dating scene, this goes for both male and females, depending on the guy. But for most girls, there's a lot of prospects out there. Best believe if you're into a girl, there's another dude who's into her. Same thing, vice versa. If you're into a guy, women, there's a lot of guy, there's a lot of women who are also into that same dude, depending on who they're going for. Now, if you go for someone who's kind of regular, maybe not. But if you're going for someone who actually obviously looks kind of attractive, best believe there's going to be some type of competition. So. Stay wary of that. Stay on your A game. Psych a lot. What is considered a date in 2022? When a guy takes you out and pays for you. If I went on a dinner date, if they buy Wait, the Grizzlies got 113? Holy. Don't, bro, bro, you're fucking up the reaction. Don't tell me that. Oh my God. For me, that's a date. A date? You pick me up, we go to dinner, you open my door, you pay for it. Ah. If a man says, let's go out to dinner, let's go out to lunch, come over and watch movies, I think that's a date. What is considered a date? Dinner. Anywhere? Somewhere that's not chili. What's wrong with chilies? I love chilies. That's like a fifth date. Wrong. Drinks, dinner, not the gym. That's not a date. Has somebody offered a gym date? Yes. Let's do push ups together. Anything? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I used to do that shit. The gym, yeah. I'm... I wouldn't say the gym be the first date. That's kind of crazy if the first date you're at the fucking gym. But a gym could be considered a date. You could, you know what I'm saying, help each other out, do some do some squats together, do some treadmill work, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 could, it could work out. It could work. That's outside of the house, dinner, bowling. Bowling? I love bowling. Bowling's lit. Bowl? Yeah, it's wholesome. I think it's got to last at least two hours. Oh. Dinner and an activity. Take her out to dinner, go mini golfing, go fucking bowling, some shit like that. What is considered a date to y'all? Like dinner? Yeah, like movies or like dinner? I love going out to like graves. I love having an adventure. Yeah. Someone buys me a drink. And then they end up taking me home. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, yeah. My interview. You can get her out. You can't ask me have sex later. Yes. A meetup with romantic intentions. Mm, that's a good answer. That's facts. That's facts. I'm going to be real, bro. Some of these things that they're saying that's a date, I wouldn't even consider dates. I've done all these things with people I would literally consider friends. A date is, could be anything. It's just as long as there's romantic intentions there. Y'all could go to the, it could be a walk on a park. That's a date. Romantic intentions. You like being with that person, you're walking in the park. Y'all could be going home and watching a movie. That's a date. You don't have to specifically go out for it to be a date. It just depends on the person you're with and like the intentions there. What about you? Go out to dinner, go grab some drinks, something simple. What is considered a date? He asked you to go somewhere. Outside of his house, unless he's making you dinner. Making you then what the fuck? I see. I would say just like <laughs> get out, get the hell out of here. A man taking the time to like plan something, whatever it is. Bro, it's a ramen noodle then she's at my plate, that's it, man. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> Which ramen noodle bag? Ramen noodles in jail, bro. Oh no, the beach. Hell no. Oh, 
chicken flavor. Yeah. I go back and forth. Could be dinner, could be a movie, could be anything. When some guy like takes you out and like pays for your dinner and like doesn't expect anything more. That's some boring ass chicks, dog. What the fuck? Only thing that's considered a date here is freaking dinner, 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 dinner. D Shut up. No, it ain't no f what. Mm -hmm. But he's gotta initiate it and have a plan of like we're doing this, 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 and that. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? I would say no sex on the first day. Uh, that's just my policy. Why? I don't know. I'm just like old school. I have a five day rule. Oh. You have to wind oh. God. Damn. Five? 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 Bruh! Yeah, damn! Five dates? Yeah. Oh, That's not gonna fucking happen. Yeah. Nah, there's some dudes who gonna wait that long. Holy shit, that is... Five? Bruh, I can understand. Nah, there is no rule. If you're into the person, unless you're like doing, if you're doing five dates, you might as well just wait till marriage at this fucking point. Gotta bring her home. Gotta bring her home. Gotta bring her home. Simple. You gotta take him out to dinner and then you bring him back home. Oh, uh, you gotta bring him back home. It depends what age we living in. I mean, nowadays you take a girl back home, they mad as hell. You gotta take him out to dinner and then you say, hey, let's have a nightcap. <laughs> let's have a nightcap. You live a life on easy mode. That works for you? Oh, easy. I told you. Take a. <laughs> Yo, who does this weird ass looking nigga dog? You have a life on easy mode. That works for you? Oh, easy. I told you. <laughs> Yo, who is this nigga, bro? <laughs> Take a peep from the toes down up. Hi. <laughs> yeah, no. Broke to six seven. Oh. You're six seven? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're white. Right. Smile. If you're not 6'7", don't try that shit. Hey, if you ain't 6'7", don't try it. What if you're 5'7", five, five, or 5'8", five, but yet nine? Nah, that shit don't. Okay, so what's not considered a date then? A uh, day date, like a lunch. That's not a date? Why not? Just friends with Ryan Reynolds. It's a day date. It's not considered a date date. So it has to be at night? Yeah. Lunch is the one meal you have by yourself no matter what, so it's not a date. That's like the express lane to the friend zone. Yeah, I still can't get it out of my mind that the Warriors are getting fucking blasted right now. Holy shit. They're not getting blown out. They're getting blasted. They're getting fucking bukkake paws, but they're getting fucked right now, dog. That's damn. Is that like 50 points? Isn't that like a 50 point lead? <laughs> not considered a date if he doesn't pay for it. Yo, and bitch, Steph, you lost his game. It's like, no, no, bro. What if y'all split the bill? Is that a date? Hell no. I'll be like, see you later, fucker. I'm out. We have problems. What is not considered a date? Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill is not a date. Going over to his place and watching Netflix. Yeah, same. The person's house to chill. And if they're telling me, Come over to your place. That's a hookup. Going to someone's house is not a date. Not a first date. Not a second date. Maybe a third date. If you go there, it's a date. Shut up. Sh shush. Shush. Dang, bro. No, hey, bro. I like how I hate how people want to act all bougie on camera. If you like a dude, you're going there. You're going there. If you really like him, if you're really down, unless I got some moral code. Nothing stopping you from the freaking hookups. We all think y'all they doing at the club at this point. You're at the club right now. Most of the times you're not just going to the club because of the friends. There's hookups that take place at the club. You barely knew the motherfucker for five minutes. Still went back to the crib though. Going to someone's house is not a day. Not you still, a person, if not he a smashed, you know, I don't care what y'all call it. It's the same thing. Just a straight hookup. Yeah, like just go to his house or something. Come over and watch a movie. I got yeah. some wine. That's not a date. I like a quick fuck. If you call me at 2 a.m. to go that's not a date. Come on. <laughs> is this chilling and watching a movie, is that a date or not? You got to go somewhere. That's not a date. If a guy tells you to come over and watch a movie, is that a date? No. Okay with that, but like you're fucking around the side eight. Bro, okay, I need a Google definition. What the fuck is a date to some of these people, bro? I'm not saying okay, there's a good date, there's a bad date. I think anything with a romantic intentions could turn into a date. A date doesn't have to always be something that involves you necessarily spending your fucking money. Hold on. Date definition. The day of the month, or no, a social or romantic appointment or engagement. A college student on a date with someone he met in class. 
Ah, lisp, lisp, lisp. Okay, so a romantic appointment or engagement. Saying, hey, babe, uh, want to go for a walk? That's still an engagement. That's still an appointment. You scheduled, like, yo, let's go for a walk. Let's do this. That's a date. Hey, yo, you want to watch this movie real quick? Um, but back at my place? That still counts as a date. It may not be a good date, depending on what kind of person you are, but a date's a date. Going to his house isn't a date? No. That just shows his pure intention. What if y'all watch a movie? You know what that leads to. <laughs> yeah. Why is that not a date? I don't understand. You need to, like, have a proper conversation, like... I'm waiting for the punchline. Movies at, Yo, like, why is that Darren or? laugh my ass off? No. What did Darren do? Wait, what did Darren do? I didn't. I don't see a message in chat. Did he, what did he do? Put me on. Put me on, sis. What the fuck Darren do? Darren, what the fuck? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Fuck. Oh, let me... Ah, oh, oh, no, no, no. Let me get out of uh, That's actually kind of nice art, Luna, but no. Not right now. Bro! Why? Why? <laughs> That's a new emote? Y'all want this as an emote chat? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and this about to be a tier 3 emote right fucking here. Ew! <laughs> this ugly ass nigga dog. Yo, son. Wait, hold on. Wait, Crust, how come you sent that? Oh, 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 you're trying to get people to screenshot. No wonder this video got 200 views. Niggas kept going back on to see my feet. Weirdos. <laughs> like, what? Is that a Out. Outside. Out in the living room. Throw me a freaking. Oh, hey, Akahi. Why is that not a date? You're not putting effort. What is it paying for? Paying for Netflix. <laughs> Netflix costs $10. His mom's Netflix. What? And his mom's phone plan, too. Don't be hating. This is how I see it. You should ask a girl to go on a date. Okay. You should not ask a girl to just come over. Like, it should, like, be more built up, not like a guy being like, come over to my place. Here's a here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Some people, I don't know why these. If he cared. Then yes, some dudes, there's tier list for women too. Don't get it twisted. Some dudes, if a dude actually likes, likes you, he'll take you out. He try to do a good impression. If he actually likes you, if he's just horny at the moment, he just want to link up. He's going to try to spend as minimal money as possible. Meaning, let's go back to the crib. The first date, if dudes talking about going to his crib, that's crazy on a first date. I can understand that. But if you go there, it's still a date. First time meeting. No. So you never did that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have. Yo. Stick a playing game. I think it's a date. No. That's a pussy date. You're like, what? A guy asked you that. Like, you right now, they're just trying to fuck anyway. And you still gonna go there? If you you're still to, like, gonna go over to the crib. Then you have to take her out to a nice spot. But if she a little home run, it don't matter, bro. It's all good. See? If she a little home run, he knows what it is. So right you here. never went to a guy's house on the first date? You don't Cat. start off there. But have you ever did that? Yes, yeah. you have. That's pretty interesting. So you never had sex on the first date? No. <laughs> <laughs> See? Maybe. But like, I'm not going to admit to it. <laughs> yeah. I, bruh, maybe back in the days that wasn't going on, but I'm saying like right now, I think everyone has done that. I'll say this. Every girl that I've liked and they liked me equivalently or they really liked me, they were willing to give it up the first day. It's not difficult if someone likes you back heavily. If they really like somebody, you're, it's not gonna be, you're not going to be trying to be like, nah, no, no. Unless it's not the right opportunity at the time. But, yeah, hey, you stay on. Chef, I'm not going to lie. You never been to a guy's place and just hung out and didn't... Never have I ever done that. So if he asked you to come over and watch a movie at, like, at his crib... That's a date? That's yes, thank you. That's See? What I'm talking about. That's, That's a hangout and they want you to fuck. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> That's Not every guy wants to f okay? That's a lot facts. Of girls try to tell me That's that facts. There's plenty of women that I've went out with and I did not want to actually have relations. Guy asked a girl to come over and watch a movie. That's not a date. I think that's a date. That's what I'm saying. Because it's like one on one, you know? Right. As long as y'all are spending time together. Yeah. I'm here for it. My nigga. Mm, what if he cooks mm. for you? Okay, that's a little different. That's all you had to say. What if he asked you, want to come over, I'll cook you dinner, and then we'll watch Netflix? Is that a date? Yeah. 
Yo, most of these bras are thinking about monetary stuff, bro. It's the same autism. thing. Well, what if he says, want to come over and make dinner? That's it. If he makes me dinner, that's the date. That's like the little trick y'all can do. You can thank me later. Can we normalize Netflix and chilling? I don't know how to cook. Normalize Netflix and not fucking. Don't fuck him, though. What kind of red flags or like, what's something a guy should avoid doing on the first date? Talking about his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Why are you bringing her up to me? Why should I care about your fucking ex? You're looking at me, you know? Stop thinking about her. Talking about his exes. Red flag. Not being a gentleman. What should a guy avoid doing? Yo, I hope I ain't do no shit like that. Only time I'll mention it, I'll keep it brief, and I'll be like, if I'm asked about it. On the first date. But out of nowhere, it's crazy. What are guys has to be touchy? Trying to kiss you if you're not into it. I agree. Yeah, touching you. Probably like making out. Like, don't make like a first move. Yeah. Everything that a man does usually. So, yeah, we can't even breathe anymore. Why is she it? Avoid being like come over on the first date. So, second date? Talk about yeah. himself too much. Do guys do that with you? Yeah. You didn't kiss on the first date? Okay, no, kissing is fine. Nothing else. No tongue. No. One of the red flags that I do look for, though, I ask the guy if they've ever cheated. And they're usually honest. If they say yes, run. <laughs> say yeah? yeah? That's like the dumbest shit ever. I never understood that. <laughs> and then I never talked to him again. You don't think people change? Yeah, so I thought that, and then I got cheated on with that person that said yeah. It's an evil world we live Damn. in. Isn't it a turn off if a guy talks shit about his ex too? Do y'all hate that? I fucking hate that well, shit. Respect yeah, her. Exactly. Have to respect. What are some red flags a guy should avoid like on the first date? Coming back to his place or something, like red flag. Asking me to come over and watch a movie for the first time they want to hang out. I agree 100%. Y'all don't have sex on the first date? I'd rather not. It depends. Depends on what? Depends on the guy. So you can say that. It just, you have to be the right guy basically. Yeah, it has to be the right guy. I've been proven right again. I've been proven right once again. Oh my God, we're on a roll today. More confirmation, more confirmation. If you can't do it the first day, you're just not that guy, pal. You're not. Some of y'all, you're just not that guy. Simple. Oh, you can say that. It just, you have to be the right guy, basically. Yeah, it has to be the right guy. You have to be really hot to fuck on the first day. I'm trying to fuck you. You just said you fucked on the first date before. <laughs> you should try to avoid it. <laughs> Fail. Y'all are hurting my brain. <laughs> you lived in like Nevada or something. Yeah, I moved here like a month ago. Really? Ago. You didn't even tell me. That's so fucked up. But um, all right. She's on her phone. That's so rude. Everybody has been asking me for your Instagram. Do you want to like tell the people? They don't want mine. AK. No, they don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't, ma'am. Dot XOXO underscore underscore. That's why. But I'm not. I'm. Yo, y'all better not be simping and freaking follow that shit. I swear to God. I want to know. Do y'all go on? Oh, you heard yeah, this. <laughs> All right, just me and AK. Is, is L friend, L friend. Is that a wig? I can't tell. That's, oh, yeah, that's a wig. It's a wig. I was like, what the f is that? Okay, but what was that? First of all, I think you need a Yo, <laughs> Hold on, Laura, quick question. All right. What is considered a date? What do I consider a date? Yes. When the guy pays for it. So if a guy pays for Netflix, is that a date? No, because he just wants to fuck. And? All right, no. There's nothing wrong. Alright, cool. Have a good one. See ya. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what to say anymore. Anything y'all want to say to the world? We hate men. <laughs> and it's like, you should not do that. Why not? Because that's just like a hook up. Like, if you're trying to date someone, actually... You can still date someone and f*** them first, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. I really hate this. Who should text who first after the date? I think the guy. Yeah. How long should a guy wait? Four days. I think industry standard was two days, but... Industry standard is two, yeah, but that was like days. ten years ago. Now you wait four to five yeah. days, man. I'm not even going to text back. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels, bro. Rest in oh, peace. Oh, yeah, back. Rest in peace. Oh, Who should shit. text first after the date, in y'all's opinion? Oh, I honestly, it could be either one. I think it's nice to say That's after a good date, question. like, oh, I had so much fun, you know? What is something a man should... I say this, in my personal opinion, it really doesn't matter, but I'll say this. If you were like the leader of the date, and what I mean by leader is like you planned it out, 
and you spent like most of it came out of your funds. You wait. You don't say anything. You just wait, bro. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But me personally, I'll say the other person is supposed to say like, I, I enjoyed it. Then text you. I don't, I don't know about you did the whole planning. You did all the payments. Now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, did you enjoy your time? The boy doing it on sounds kind of cornballish to me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know I'm on camera, but fuck paying for the whole bill. Split it. Damn, bro. <laughs> Yo, this guy got different rules. What the f thing? The real he got different rules. The answer is don't push anything that she don't want. Yeah, you don't pay for the first date? Split the bill. You got to be 6'7". That's bullshit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the option was granted to me. I'm not going to lie. That is another option. If someone's actually interested, they wouldn't mind splitting it unless they're like completely broke. But that would be kind of like a, that would be kind of like an asshole move. I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's go. We're from Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buffalo. I'm not from Buffalo, but let's go. Taylor's got a pee. She got a pee, so I gotta okay. go. All right, bet. Well, good singing. Yeah, have a good one. Hey, W video as always, man. He's one of the favorites to react to at this point. Leave a like, but yeah, man. Hope you guys learned some new things. I did it, but I hope you guys learned some new things about the scenes when y'all grow up. And some of y'all currently, y'all could know how to move a little bit better.